Daniel versus Chronic. What's going on, guys? Or here we go, I should say, as we normally start with. But um, this is a match we have done many a times. I think this is something like the fifth time that they played, fifth or fourth. And it is a long history between Chronic and Daniel. If you guys didn't know, uh, the first time I ever heard about Daniel, I was actually watching a Chronic stream. Chronic was streaming in the very rare occasions that he does. And this was around Fear 500 time, Fear 500 season one. And uh, there was, a, I believe, a mod in Chronic's chat. And he was wondering if he could play, nice flick by Chronic. He was wondering if he could play in the, uh, in the Fear 500. Said he was top 100, turns out he was, around 20-ish rated at the time. And that mod was Daniel. That was when I first found out about uh, Daniel and his 1v1 ability. He ended up trying to uh, qualify through uh, the one of the close qualifiers for the Fear 500. Ended up not making it, but that was the beginning of the story for Dan. So it all started, uh, you know, in relation to Chronic. And ever since then, Daniel had gotten an improved and improved, you know, record against people on stream, against, uh, you know, people in tournaments. But he could never take Chronic down. Chronic had about a three or four and no record against them there's a lot of different times a couple different times in the next gen some other times just you know on weekly show matches that chronic was able to take daniel down until until for the first time ever during this long long streak of wins for daniel he had a match against chronic in the fear five where he went through the whole fear five seeing if he could make it through everybody else after chronic had basically defended against all challengers <laughs> And Chronic ended up getting taken down finally by Daniel. So that is the last time they played against each other. Chronic and Daniel playing in the Fear 5. Daniel, I believe, got the sweep that time. This time, Chronic is back looking to maybe get some revenge. Chronic certainly is less uh, tenured in the ones ranked arena in the past six or so months. Daniel has been kind of grinding the ones ranked, keeping himself high on the leaderboard. Uh, for what has felt like forever now, but it's been a long time since Chronic has grinded a one seater board, and yet somehow every time we have him on, he finds a way to win. But I tell you what, at the start of this game, I can see you know a little bit of extra speed coming out of both these guys. I don't know if that has to do with the matchup between these two, but it seems intense at the start. Chronic saying it was over before it started. These guys are good friends, um, and I think Chronic is one of our biggest chatters on stream. We have a lot of different guys who like to, you know, say things during uh, show matches. So Daniel also ready to throw in some cheeky GG's right at the start of the series. Daniel getting a little bit greedy here. What a great recovery, wow. I thought for sure Chronic was gonna be able to pinch that to get some speed and get a second goal, but Daniel somehow able to recover out of that back net. We didn't have the camera on him. I don't know how he did it, but he makes it out just in time. Bronick taking it from the ceiling, trying to use that flip the redirector on net. He can't do it. Oh, this guy's gonna sit in a rule one. <laughs> this, this will be the second ever rule one that has happened on my stream. <laughs> Are we gonna sit here for two minutes and 30 seconds though is the question. Um, so the first ever rule one was actually in next gen Daniel and Dries rule one for I think like two full minutes uh, and the game was tied at that time The game was tied and they just let it go to overtime and then played one more goal here chronic who is down is uh, Still willing to do at least a nice minute long rule one So I think we've had about Two rule ones to uh, ever happen in 1v1. Normally, I would say it doesn't even apply to 1v1. Normally, uh, you know, it just doesn't make sense. I'm all down for every other game mode, you know, sticking in it for forever, but 1v1's a little bit different. Chronic down three with a minute 42 left to go. Daniel asking him, where's the confidence? Trying to hype up his own opponent. Nice long air dribble for a fifth. They were tied at the time though with Dries and Daniel. Yeah, it was a little bit different. 
they were tied and they, they I think there was probably like two minutes left on the clock and they both agreed all right let's just decide it in overtime and sat in the uh, the rule one for the duration of that match but yeah it doesn't really make sense for chronic in this context to sit in a rule one which guarantees a loss and a definitely winnable game here minute 13 left to go three goals left to get Chronic is, uh, listen, I've been conditioned enough of by watching Chronic games that I will never, ever believe that he can't beat somebody. He has just taught me that he's always got a chance. No matter the opponent, he can get a win. So as long as he has the kind of confidence in himself that I have in him, there's no doubt he could take the series. Daniel able to win the, the race to the boost off the wall. Chronic resetting with 100. Daniel super pre-jumping. A dribble from Chronic that came very, very late. He'll get a fourth with 48 seconds left to go. Chronic says stop trolling. Chronic is known to go in the air. I mean, at the end of the day, Daniel's pre-jump was, was a little early. I think that's what Chronic's referring to. But Chronic is a guy who is known to take things to the air um, you know, almost every time. It's not insane to try and pre-jump his aerial play right as it starts. We've seen a lot of different, you know, pre-jumps like that convince offenders to give up on their dribble attempt and then get completely out of whack, and it ends up being a totally reasonable uh, defensive attempt that, you know, gets rid of a play before it even begins. But Chronic thinks it's all trolling. Daniel dribble from the wall. Chronic has an opportunity to tie it up. Daniel, great recovery, but still Chronic. Shoots the bottom left corner. Daniel taps it away. Chronic has a great boost advantage here. Daniel can probably just bump Chronic out to finish it. It's definitely still shootable. Chronic will tap it in for a fifth and tie the game. Daniel trying to finish out the game with just a bunch of bumps. But the ball rolls at the perfect time up the wall and does not touch the ground. Overtime. 5-5. Chronic currently 1-0 with a win against Adverse in pool play. Daniel as well. Both these guys only one game played against Adverse. Both of them able to get the win. Daniel flip reset. Taking it to the ground. Chronic able to take it away. Normally Daniel's able to sneak goals in when he doesn't end up using the flip. But this time the bounce, not enough forward momentum it was going to take way too long for it to actually cross the uh, threshold of the goal and Chronic is too comfortable on the back wall to uh, panic save in those situations so 42 seconds left or sorry 40 seconds left I'm just so used to looking up at the clock long shot from Dan not gonna go in 42 seconds into overtime that is not left could be all night left for all we know Daniel can't find the angle on his dribble Chronic in midfield started his dribble early. I think that's because he saw Daniel come into his screen and thought that Daniel was going to be challenging him, but Daniel really didn't put much pressure on it. He could have set up a uh, air dribble much later than he did. Daniel trying to get away from the ball to go pick up that back point of boost. Chronic's not going to let him. He's going to keep him honest and not give him that opportunity to reset. He will reset now. Chronic on very little in the corner. A nice flip out. To supersonic speed. Daniel's going to try and roll it in nice and slow, and he'll succeed. Chronic was operating on very little boost on his retreat back to net. He was going to have a tough time being able to make a save. Daniel did a good job of keeping that ball on the top of his car where he could threaten high. That's why Chronic was trying to pre jump a high shot. But Daniel will take the first game as we head to game number two. Chronic. Back in the Dominus. I say back in the Dominus. He was in the Dominus in the first game, but we see him jump between the Octane and the Dominus a lot in 1v1s. Chronic will be able to save the first ground pinch from Daniel. Daniel tried to free jump right away. Chronic will take it to the ground. The shot a little bit too high, but he's so slick with it. Yo, it's in. <laughs> jump. <laughs> Oh, Chronic, a great touch off the back wall. He caught it, falling backwards, held the power slide, and popped it back up. 
Daniel did not think it was inside the net. Chronic up 1-0, this pinch almost online. Just about the ball's length off. He thought he had an opportunity to come and challenge. I think Chronic's coming alive here a little bit. And a nice early lead is not a bad way to do it. 2-0. Chronic keeping up the momentum that I think he ended the last game with. Daniel had an early lead. Whether he quote unquote trolled to let Chronic back in or not is irrelevant because he's definitely picking up a little bit of steam now. Up 2-0 shortly into this game. Chronic a high challenge taking this dribble away from Daniel. Everything going his way at the start of this game. Chronic lobbing it to himself off the back wall. There is no way he's going to be able to save this one. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel even threw the initial what a save. That was a classic Chronic play. With every five or six, uh, you know, amazing Chronic shots we get, we see him getting a little bit greedy as he tries to double this one off the back wall. Doubles are so hard. I mean, we've said it a million times. Doubles are so hard in 1v1. When a defender is prepped and ready, they can just clear very easily off the back wall and you get caught stuck in the air looking foolish. And that definitely happened this time. Daniel even throws the what a saves in the quick chat. But a strong first touch from Daniel on this dribble. Chronic able to keep it away. Nice read on the oncoming Daniel challenge. Daniel able to force it just nice enough into the corner. It seemed like Chronic was almost certainly going to have a shot attempt off of that low 50. He had sent Daniel flying, but the bounce was just such that Chronic could not end up finding the angle. Daniel will take him off the field. One of the uh, early criticisms that Chronic had for Daniel a long time ago when they used to play against each other is Daniel would demo all the time. He would demo and bump. And... Chronic not a fan. Chronic, you know, wants to basically get clipped on back and forth. He wants to clip on the other guy, and then he wants to get scored on by a clip. And that's his ideal 1v1. So when Daniel, uh, in one of his matches actually that he ended up losing, started showing the insane aerial kind of play that he had today, even Chronic had to start giving him the nod. Like, all right, that was sick. Normally, you'll never get that from Chronic. Chronic at 3-1. The 180 backflip shot is going to be <laughs> easily saved. And Daniel will throw the nice shot at him for it. What a shot from Chronic! Daniel's going to throw the okay. It didn't seem like he was going to be able to score. I am with Daniel on this one. I don't know if I would have jumped here. It seemed like Chronic was unable to uh, dribble it into the net. But somehow he finds a nice pinch with the corner to get a fourth. He's up 4-1. <laughs> Dan wants to know if they want to play Valorant. Chronic says, nah, you're not good enough. <laughs> Chronic set up off the back wall. Daniel able to take him out of the play. Daniel, huge lob. It's not even an irritable bump. It's just a chip shot, and then he just goes seeking for the defender. Nice bump. Yeah, isn't Chronic like pretty high in uh in Valorant? Maybe they can play with Joyas. I heard Joyas has been hard grinding Valorant. Daniel, his wall air dribble stopped out from Chronic in the ceiling, but ultimately Daniel is gonna be able to get a third. I tell you what, uh, when we did the North American versus EU showdown, apparently Joyas was coming off of like a hundred hours of Valorant. Um, and I tell you what, he played great. So as far as I'm aware, Valorant is basically Rocket League training. Daniel. Able to cut on the back wheel of Chronic to prevent him from getting that takeaway goal. Gonna throw out the OKs. Chronic can't intercept it in the air. Daniel will tie it up. Four to four with a minute 42 left to go. I honestly think that, you know, whether he's intentionally out here trying to take some heat off of Chronic or like, you know, turn down 
I'm not sure what the words I'm kind of looking for, but basically turn down the heat in Chronic's head. But this Valorant talk, I think, has taken what was like a serious momentum and, and a chippy game for Chronic as he was, you know, taking a serious lead back down to a, you know, friendly banter that Daniel has been able to come back with. Here at the FRL stream, you don't just get Rocket League 1v1s. You get intense mental uh, 1v1 games against each other. Mental chess as Daniel goes up 5-4. I'm going to tab out real quick. Sorry about this. Daniel trying to set up an air dribble. Fell a little bit too in love with it. It wasn't the best of lob touches to initiate it. And uh, he did not give up as he forces the issue, you know, inches from the ground. Chronic able to take it away. You want an Oriental McFlurry from McDonald's? Those are definitely the best. Does anybody else have uh, Culver's though? Culver's has the concrete mixers um, that, you know, have Oreo in them too. And I feel like it's Maybe just an upgraded uh, McFlurry with Oreo. Chronic trying to set up a play from the back corner. Ended up using up a lot of boost and not even touching the ball. Could not get the ball in a shooting opportunity. Chronic save and take away. Gets him bumped. 33 seconds left to go. Chronic needs a goal here late. To tie up the series, Daniel trying to go up 2 0. Chronic stuck on very little boost. Daniel's going to reset all the way to the back corner. Not going to take, oh yeah, he is going to take one of his signature dribbles all the way from resetting on the boost. Chronic is challenging these really well. Chronic has defended the aerial game with uh, expertise so far, but he's dead in the water as Daniel sets up a dribble. Chronic can't get there this time. A couple good fakes from Daniel, and you'll get a sixth. Daniel trying to fake Chronic out and ended up getting him to reverse for a moment and put him slightly off the line. You have a Culver's near you? Yeah, dude. Culver's with Oreo is super good. Ask for double Oreo because I think you can get two toppings. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> Chronic's tying up this game. <laughs> They've lured me into it. <laughs> Chronic off this kickoff, not a lot of time left, but he's able to get underneath to keep it up. And a flick above Daniel, 6-6. Six, six. And he's tied the game here once again. I believe we went to overtime in game number one as well. Daniel getting first possession off this kickoff. His wall to air dribble, wow. Into a perfect flip reset, top shelf. Overtime not gonna last very long this time. Chronic had done a good job of challenging uh, coming off the ceiling earlier in the series, but for whatever reason, this time decides to play it off the ground, and Daniel's able to get it past. So 2-0 for Dan. Both overtime wins for him, but he puts himself on match point with three chances to get it. Game three. Chronic versus Daniel. Every game has gone to overtime. Overtime number one. Took about a minute for Daniel to score. Overtime number two, he won the kickoff, took it into a wall to air, and scored quickly. Daniel get the first goal of game number three. Why are you still in the Octane? Do you mean not in the Octane? Or why is he still in the Dominus? Why are you using the Stealth car? Stealth was the first guy to use the Dominus a lot in our 1v1s, Fear 500 Season 1. Chronic definitely used to play mostly Octane when he first started with us, but then I think since then he switched to uh, almost all Dominus. Daniel, the flip above, he missed this open net. He made the outplay, but he taps it too high off the backboard and instead of waiting for it to come down, tries to greet out the uh, double touch and then ultimately Chronic able to tap it in the other way. You enable your teammates on this car? <laughs> Chronic 
Chronic taking to the skies. Earlier in the series, Daniel had been pre-jumping these. Instead, he's going to stay on the ground this time. And Chronic is going to musty it right to his car. A nice pop as Chronic challenges. Wait, Daniel hitting that really soft. I don't know if he was hitting that soft to try and set up a second touch or if he just didn't get the heat on it that he should have. He definitely had a long um, open net available. Daniel drove from the back corner using the ceiling to pop it to himself. Chronic thought he saw an opportunity to take it away, but Chronic was wrong. <laughs> Lag, unfortunately. Maybe on Chronic's uh, screen he thought he got to it. But that was a nice ramp off of Daniel. A good reset. Unfortunately, doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a new DreamHack tournament. There's a ones and twos, ones, twos, and threes for EU and NA. And um, you don't have to be 15 years old. I think you only have to be 14, they said, maybe? It may be 13. I think they said 14, though. But the good news is that a lot of these top guys are 14. Maybe Moxie will be disappointed. I think he's still 13. Oh, 13? Oh. I thought it was 14 plus. Drawley's in? Okay, there you go. To be fair, I think Fast has got to be 13 now too, right? I don't even know of any 12-year-old players at this point. I know Fast was super young. Um, he's still 12? I did not realize that Fast was still 12. I feel like I've known him long enough that he's got to be getting older, right? <laughs> Daniel Daniel is just chatting with us on stream. He's up 2-1, so it's hard to blame him. <laughs> Daniel, take off the back wall. Peronic, able to save it away. A long shot for Dan, up 3-1. Stop being cringe. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, guys, the Daniel versus Chronic matches have always been um, legendary, I would say. Some of the best matches we had on stream. And, and now they're being legendary for just another reason. <laughs> they're definitely memorable. You're falling off, just like that. Can't give up a kickoff goal to Chronic. One of, the, one of the greatest series of all time. Everyone will remember this as the Mick Flurry series. Chronic, tying the game up in your net, you might say, as Daniel gets his flip reset take completely taken away from him. I think he tried to pull away from the ball as he saw Chronic coming to challenge. Instead of going for the flip reset, try and set up a 50. Chronic was able to tap it above. Daniel will take it into the air yet again. He wants to show what he's got and he'll score. You know he's going to have something to say on this one. Oh, come on. High is all you got, Dan? <laughs> Chronic defending from the ground has not done as good of a job as when he's been trying to defend from the ceiling. I, I don't know if he's done too much back wall defending. He's actually just been trying to take away those plays by rushing up to the top of the arena. This time, maybe he was not in a position to set that up. Daniel will demo Chronic. The GG's. He is still alive, though. And he gets back to 50 this one away. Daniel not taking his open net. You could argue that he was trying to waste time. We have seen a player trying to waste time not score. Chronic's going to tap in an own goal. Hard to tell whether that was intentional or not. These guys are uh, certainly capable of never missing that if they don't want to. But <laughs> Oh, you didn't score. Okay, that makes sense. He's saying Daniel didn't take his wide open net that he should have after the demo, so Chronic's going to tap it in for him. Chronic. Nice use of the flip reset. He saw the early challenge, so he popped it above. And it should be an easy fourth. He's still within one. A minute 27 left to go. Imagine we're trying to watch this series without chat on. I think uh, we'd be missing a lot of context for what's going on. Somebody in uh, the YouTube comments once 
said that they really liked that we had in-game chat on. They could see what the players were saying. Do you still have that opinion? How do you feel about this series? <laughs> so much context. You love chat being on. These guys are almost too good of friends in this 1v1 series. Chronic. His dribble. 15, and he'll tie it up once again. 54 seconds. Daniel scoring in three seconds. I don't think you were right. Daniel not going to come to this kickoff at all. Chronic. Wow. I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> Holy cringe. <laughs> After this whole series, Daniel, fear does this series matter? Every series matters. <laughs> What do you want me to say? To make it out of pool play. Yes. <laughs> Chat, don't tell him. Don't tell him that technically adverse in their pool has already lost out. Daniel a seventh. Oh, Chronic says he's assuming to be Aegeus. So if you go 2-1, you make it out right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope there's a little spice. I hope that gives us at least a little bit of spice. A little chip on the shoulder of Aegeus as he plays Chronic next. Chronic is with reset. Taken away. 7-5 lead. Chronic's going to throw out the GG's for 30 seconds. Daniel could go up 3-0. Aegeus time. He wants to go next. <laughs> What's going on? All right. I'm gonna. I, I'm not yet. Thank you, Chronic. I don't want to wait the next few minutes of Daniel own going. GG's. We're gonna say Daniel took it 3-0. Chronic, back in the Dominus. I say back in the Dominus. He was in the Dominus in the first game, but we see him jump between the Octane and the Dominus a lot in 1v1s. Chronic will be able to save the first round pin from Daniel. Daniel tried to free jump right away. Chronic will take it to the ground. His shot a little bit too high, but he's so slick with it. Yo, it's in. <laughs> jump. <laughs> oh, Chronic, a great touch off the back wall. He caught it, falling backwards, held the power slide, and popped it back up. Daniel did not think it was inside the net. Chronic up 1-0, this pinch almost online. Just about the ball's length off. He thought he had an opportunity to come and challenge. I think Chronic's coming alive here a little bit. And a nice early lead is not a bad way to do it. 2-0. Chronic, keeping up with the momentum that I think he ended the last game with. Daniel had an early lead. Whether he quote unquote trolled to let Chronic back in or not is irrelevant because he's definitely picking up a little bit of steam now. Up 2-0 shortly into this game. Chronic, a high challenge, taking this dribble away from Daniel. Everything going his way at the start of this game. Chronic lobbing it to himself off the back wall. There is no way he's going to be able to save this one. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel even threw the initial what a save. That was a classic Chronic play. With every five or six, uh, you know, amazing Chronic shots we get, we see him getting a little bit greedy as he tries to double this one off the back wall. Doubles are so hard. I mean, we've said it a million times. Doubles are so hard in 1v1 when a defender is prepped and ready. They can just clear very easily off the back wall and you get caught stuck in the air looking foolish. And that definitely happened this time. Daniel even throws the what a saves in the quick chat. But a strong first touch from Daniel on this dribble. Chronic able to keep it away. Nice read on the oncoming Daniel challenge. Daniel able to force it just nice enough into the corner. It seemed like Chronic was almost certainly gonna have a shot attempt off of that low 50. He had sent Daniel flying, but 
the bounce was just such that Chronic could not end up finding the angle. Daniel will take him off the field. One of the uh, early criticisms that Chronic had for Daniel a long time ago when they used to play against each other is Daniel would demo all the time. He would demo and bump. And Chronic not a fan. Chronic, you know, wants to basically get clipped on back and forth. He wants to clip on the other guy and then he wants to get scored on by a clip. And that's his ideal 1v1. So when Daniel, uh, in one of his matches actually that he ended up losing, started showing the insane aerial kind of play that he had today, even Chronic had to start giving him the nod. Like, all right, that was sick. Normally, you'll never get that from Chronic. Chronic at 3-1. The 180 backflip shot is going to be <laughs> easily saved. And Daniel was throwing a nice shot at him for it. What a shot from Chronic! Daniel's going to throw the okay. It didn't seem like he was going to be able to score. I am with Daniel on this one. I don't know if I would have jumped here. It seemed like Chronic was unable to uh, dribble it into the net. But somehow he finds a nice pinch with the corner to get a fourth. He's up 4-1. <laughs> Tan wants to know if they want to play Valorant. Chronic says, nah, you're not good enough. <laughs> Chronic set up off the back wall. Daniel able to take him out of the play. Daniel, huge lob. It's not even an air dribble bump. It's just a chip shot, and then he just goes seeking for the defender. Nice bump. Yeah, isn't Chronic like pretty high in uh in Valorant? Maybe they can play with Joria's. I heard Joria's has been hard grinding Valorant. Daniel. His wall air dribble stopped out from Chronic in the ceiling, but ultimately, Daniel is going to be able to get a third. I tell you what, uh, when we did the North American versus EU showdown, apparently Joyous was coming off of like 100 hours of Valorant. Um, and I tell you what, he played great. So, as far as I'm aware, Valorant is basically Rocket League training. Daniel able to cut on the back wheel of Chronic to prevent him from getting that takeaway goal. Gonna throw out the OKs. Chronic can't intercept it in the air. Daniel will tie it up. Four to four with a minute 42 left to go. I honestly think that, you know, whether he's intentionally out here trying to take some heat off of Chronic or like, you know, turn down, I'm not sure what the words I'm kind of looking for, but basically turn down the heat in Chronic's head. But this Valorant talk, I think, has taken what was like a serious momentum and, and a chippy game for Chronic as he was, you know, taking a serious lead back down to a, you know, friendly banter that Daniel has been able to come back with. Here at the FRL stream, you don't just get Rocket League 1v1s. You get intense mental uh, 1v1 games against each other. Mental chess as Daniel goes up 5-4. I'm going to tab out real quick. Sorry about this. Daniel trying to set up an air dribble. Fell a little bit too in love with it. It wasn't the best of lob touches to initiate it. And uh, he did not give up as he forces the issue. You know, inches from the ground. Chronic able to take it away. You want an Olympic flurry from McDonald's? Those are definitely the best. Does anybody else have uh, Culver's though? Culver's has the concrete mixers um, that you know have Oreo in them too. And I feel like it's maybe just an upgraded uh, McFlurry with Oreo. Chronic trying to set up a play from the back corner. Ended up using up a lot of boost and not even touching the ball. Could not get the ball in a shooting opportunity. Chronic save and takeaway. Gets him bumped. 
33 seconds left to go. Chronic needs a goal here late to tie up the series. Daniel trying to go up 2 0. Chronic stuck on very little boost. Daniel's going to reset all the way to the back corner. Not going to take. Oh, yeah, he is going to take one of his signature dribbles all the way from resetting on the boost. Chronic is challenging these really well. Chronic has defended the aerial game with uh, expertise so far, but he's dead in the water as Daniel sets up a dribble. Chronic can't get there this time. A couple good fakes from Daniel, and you'll get a sixth. Daniel trying to fake Chronic out and ended up getting him to reverse for a moment and put him slightly off the line. You have a Culver's near you? Yeah, dude. The Culver's with Oreo is super good. Ask for double Oreo, because I think you can get two toppings. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> Chronic's tied up this game. <laughs> They've lured me into it. <laughs> Chronic off this kickoff. Not a lot of time left, but he's able to get underneath to keep it up. And a flick above Daniel. 6-6. Six, six. And he's tied the game here once again. I believe we went to overtime in game number one as well. Daniel getting first possession off this kickoff. His wall to air dribble, wow. Into a perfect flip reset, top shelf. Overtime not gonna last very long this time. Chronic had done a good job of challenging uh, coming off the ceiling earlier in the series, but for whatever reason this time, decides to play it off the ground and Daniel's able to get it passed. So 2-0 for Dan, both overtime wins for him, but he puts himself on match point with three chances to get it. Game three, Chronic versus Daniel. Every game has gone to overtime. Overtime number one took about a minute for Daniel to score. Overtime number two, he won the kickoff, took it into a wall to air, and scored quickly. Daniel will get the first goal again number three. Why are you still in the octane? Do you mean not in the octane? Or why is he still in the Dominus? Why are you using the stealth car? Stealth? was the first guy to use the Dominus a lot in our 1v1s, Fear 500 Season 1. Chronic definitely used to play mostly Octane when he first started with us, but then I think since then he switched to uh, almost all Dominus. Daniel, the flip above, he missed this open net. He made the outplay, but he taps it too high off the backboard and instead of waiting for it to come down, tries to greet out the uh, double touch and then ultimately Chronic able to tap it in the other way. You enable your teammates on this car. Chronic taking to the skies. Earlier in the series, Daniel had been free jumping these. Instead, he's going to stay on the ground this time. And Chronic is going to musty it right to his car. A nice pop as Chronic challenges. Wait, Daniel hitting that really soft. I don't know if he was hitting that soft to try and set up a second touch or if he just didn't get the heat on it that he should have. He definitely had a long um, open net available. Daniel drove from the back corner using the ceiling to pop it to himself. Chronic thought he saw an opportunity to take it away, but Chronic was wrong. <laughs> Lag, unfortunately. Maybe on Chronic's uh, screen he thought he got to it. But that was a nice ramp off of Daniel. A good reset. Unfortunately, doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a new DreamHack tournament. There's a ones and twos, ones, twos, and threes for EU and NA. And um, you don't have to be 15 years old. I think you only have to be 14, they said, maybe? It may be 13. I think they said 14, though. But the good news is that a lot of these top guys are 14. Maybe Moxie will be disappointed. I think he's still 13. Oh, 13? Oh. I thought it was 14 plus. Drawley is in? Okay, there you go. To be fair, I think Fast has got to be 13 now too, right? I don't even know of any 12-year-old players at this point. I know Fast was super young. Um, he's still 12? I did not realize that Fast was still 12. I feel like I've known him long enough that he's got to be getting older, right? <laughs> Daniel, 
Daniel is just chatting with us on stream. He's up 2-1, so it's hard to blame him. <laughs> Daniel, take off the back wall. Veronic, able to save it away. A long shot for Dan, up 3-1. Stop being cringe. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, guys, the Daniel versus Chronic matches have always been um, legendary, I would say. Some of the best matches that we had on stream. And, and now they're being legendary for just another reason. <laughs> they're definitely memorable. You're falling off just like that. Can't give up a kickoff goal to Chronic. <laughs> one, of the, one of the greatest series of all time. Everyone will remember this as the Mick Flurry series. Chronic tying the game up in your net, you might say. As Daniel gets his flip reset take completely taken away from him. I think he tried to pull away from the ball. As he saw Chronic coming to challenge, instead of going for the footboy set, try and set up a 50. Chronic was able to tap it above. Daniel will take it into the air yet again. He wants to show what he's got, and he'll score. You know he's going to have something to say on this one. Oh, come on. High is all you got, Dan? <laughs> Chronic defending from the ground has not done as good of a job as when he's been trying to defend from the ceiling. I, I don't know if he's done too much back wall defending. He's actually just been trying to take away those plays by rushing up to the top of the arena. This time, maybe he was not in a position to set that up. Daniel will demo Chronic. The GG's. He's still alive, though. And he gets back to 50 this one away. Daniel not taking his open net. You could argue that he was trying to waste time. We have seen a player trying to waste time not score. Chronic's going to tap in an own goal. Hard to tell whether that was intentional or not. These guys are uh, certainly capable of never missing that if they don't want to. But <laughs> Oh, you didn't score. Okay, that makes sense. He's saying Daniel didn't take his wide open net that he should have after the demo, so Chronic's going to tap it in for him. Chronic. Nice use of the flip reset. He saw the early challenge, so he popped it above. And it should be an easy fourth. He's still within one. A minute 27 left to go. Imagine we're trying to watch this series without chat on. I think uh, we'd be missing a lot of context for what's going on. Somebody in uh, the YouTube comments once said that they really liked that we had in-game chat on. They could see what the players were saying. Do you still have that opinion? How do you feel about this series? <laughs> so much context. You love chat being on. These guys are almost too good of friends in this 1v1 series. Chronic. His dribble. 50 and he'll tie it up once again. 54 seconds. Daniel scoring in three seconds, I don't think you were right. Daniel not going to come to this kickoff at all. Chronic, wow. I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> Holy cringe. <laughs> After this whole series, Daniel, fear does this series matter? Every series matters. <laughs> What do you want me to say? To make it out of pool play. Yes. <laughs> Chat, don't tell him. Don't tell him that technically adverse in their pool has already lost out. Daniel is seventh. Oh, Chronic says he's assuming to be the Aegeus. So if you go 2-1, you make it out right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I hope there's a little spice. 
I hope that gives us at least a little bit of spice, a little chip on the shoulder of Aegeus as he plays Chronic next. Chronic is up reset. Taken away, 7-5 lead. Chronic's gonna throw out the GG's for 30 seconds. Daniel could go up 3-0. Aegeus time, he wants to go next. <laughs> What's going on? All right, I'm gonna, I, I'm not, yeah, thank you, Chronic. I don't wanna wait the next few minutes of Daniel own goaling. GG's, we're gonna say Daniel took it 3-0.